Could you maybe tell us a little bit about what Rent to Kill Initial actually do? We're the world's biggest pest control company. We're also the world's biggest uh, hygiene services company. So what does that mean? Pest control is different in every country. The guys in the UK have got it really easy. It's, it's rats, it's mice, it's kind of dead easy. What you don't want to do is be a pest control technician in somewhere like uh, where we've got Python specific teams in Indonesia. The initial side, we design, manufacture, deliver and then maintain facilities within washrooms. What are the key challenges now for Rentacore sort of going forward? I mean, you heard us talk about our key priorities as a company. What are sort of Rentacore's key priorities? For us, it's all about giving our customers more insight about what's happening. Gone are the days where we're, we're turning up and using pen and paper to write things down. It's much more getting those into systems to make sure we can concentrate our data um, in a single place to provide our customers insight about what's happening. What have we been working with you on? What are some of the key projects where you've engaged VMware? Where have you ended up on this stage? We've been on the vSphere journey for ages. We've had it for eight, nine, ten years. We've recently been looking at implementing NSX. We've got 10,000 of our mobile devices. As we're rolling out these new applications, we're using AirWatch to do that. For the past 18 months, we've been working with VeloCloud to roll out um, an SD1 network. The interesting thing to a, a large number of audiences we talked about before is maybe, you know, it's a very new to us, it's a new area, stepping out into the SD1. Um, how important is VeloCloud to you? Why did you end up, you know, what, what is that actually about? What does it mean? There are a raft of benefits to doing this. Instead of having to configure all these different things everywhere, one configuration, you put the thing in and it, and it works. Controlled centrally, but a service that can be consumed by people with not the level of knowledge you needed in the past to architect these ones. So it was much easier to get it out there, much easier to manage, and also enables us, as we move more workload from the data centers to the cloud, it automatically picks up which way it should go and redirects. In some locations, we've got 3,000% more bandwidth at 50% of the cost. The benefits are commercial, technical, process, it is absolutely spot on. You sit at a party and a friend who also happens to work in IT says, what do you think of the VMware? What would you, what would you say to them? The partnership we've built up over the last 18 months is a partnership. Right. Before, we simply bought licenses from you. We've seen a big step change over the last 18 months. We're on a journey, you're helping us with that journey. You speak to someone from VMware and you, you, you trust what they say. They're very knowledgeable. I've not met anyone who doesn't have a really good grip on how you manage things, how we should do things. You won an IoT award recently, and I think you talked more and more about IoT and finding out why yeah. there's a spike in pests in Thursday afternoons in, in the Netherlands. What's, what's so, IoT so with you? Historically, we've had to send someone to site to see if there's any activity in a trap. Now, the thing tells us. We've now got 60,000 connected rat traps out there. It's a much more reactive service we can offer and only go to site when we need to. And it's giving us all this insight about what happens when. So it's a massive thing for us. We've got 20,000 customers out there at the moment. We've got a million customers that we want to reach out this technology to. Um, so a huge amount of work to do over the next couple of years.